Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. As you'll know if you've watched our School of Corman special, Dementia 13, which you can find on YouTube, Dailymotion, Plex, etc., was the first solo directorial credit of Francis Ford Coppola, made with money, time, cast and crew left over from Roger Corman's The Young Racers, on which Coppola was sound man. Corman agreed to give the young filmmaker a chance if he could come up with a contemporary gothic horror in the manner of Psycho, an influence also evident in Ronald Stein's score. Coppola pitched an idea that Corman approved, then turned out the script in three days, which may account for the dialogue. Now what do I do? Despite some lines that may have influenced Tom Petty, especially an American girl, you can tell she's been raised on promises. This is not generally a film in which the dialogue sparkles. I think you'll find that you're in quite the wrong part of Castle Halloran to find your room. Which is a shame because there is rather a lot of it. Honey, she's leaving all of your family's money to charity in the name of this mysterious Kathleen. Coppola's adeptness with visual storytelling, particularly montage, is still some years away, but his eye for an image is already in evidence. At its best, Dementia 13 is a stylish film, with some arresting images making the best of its locations. <laughs> reaching a peak with the underwater sequence that had, apparently, been a key part of Coppola's pitch to Corman. It's not all good. Some of the Irish accents are truly horrifying. I swear by the shade of Finn McCool, Master Billy, I'm not poaching your legal game. And Corman was unimpressed enough that he dispatched Jack Hill to shoot additional footage. <laughs> The plot, like the dialogue, suffers for its lightning gestation, relying too heavily on the talking to convey the pinwheeling turns of the story, which fails to deliver on some of its early promise. It's empty, you idiot! An old family tragedy leads to psychopathic murder, and I'm actually not going to attempt to explain any more than that. So we can make some sense out of all of this. But if it's not always clear precisely what is going on, it's always clear that something is. There's something in this house. If it's not always clear what the motivations are, then there's always a set piece to draw your attention. <laughs> Most interestingly, while the pacing is out of the Corman playbook, the styling is far more individual. Despite the wedding scene, I think it would be a bit much to start drawing Godfather comparisons, but there is a directorial voice here. Remember the dreams? Faces in the shadows? The man climbing up your wall? Albeit one not used to best effect in this material. <laughs> Lacking engaging characters and storytelling clarity, those images deserve better, but it remains an interesting watch, and would be even if it was directed by someone else. Thanks for watching. Don't miss our School of Corman special. What directors have the best and worst debuts? Let us know in the comments below.